Hi, my name's Dave. I'm here to see Grinderman. Uh, I'm expecting, you know, some good old fashioned duty, you know, feedback rock and roll basically. What do you think are the main differences between Grinderman and the Bad Seeds? Well, Grinderman's a bit of a laugh, you know, whereas Bad Seeds are more kind of deep. The, the polish effect is gone. And yeah, I think Warren Ellis has got more heavy influence in terms of the way the music goes forward. Apart from a couple of musicians, it's a bit more, a bit more free, a bit more experimental, um, a bit more humorous as well. I was saying the other day that I had this kind of note of dread running through it. Um, it's quite foreboding almost. It's definitely very eerie, very sleazy, very sleazy. Nick Cave's a genius, though, so... He's one of these brilliant minds in music, isn't he? I've come the whole way from Northern Ireland to come see him. Massively the bad obsessed with Nick Cave, yeah, yeah. Massively obsessed. We, we, yeah, literally obsessed with this man. I don't know where he gets the energy, is that? He lives in Brighton. He nearly run me over on his bike the other day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he fulfilled all of my expectations by uh, being Nick Cave and this incredible presence on stage. Uh, it was epic. <laughs> How, how was the gig? I would say that's the closest music comes to court. <laughs> yeah. It was filthy and lovely. I thought it was fucking savage. I like the madness of it. I like the way it's very rough. I like it rough. Of course, for double the price. Do it. I would come. Anyway, any time. Found it suitably sleazy and dirty and grindy, and it was wicked. The violence, brilliant. Best you have been to in five years. Wink Bolt.